How's it going true gamers? In today's video I'm going to be showing you guys a guide on the new Guardians of the Rift room crafting minigame. In order to do the minigame you're first going to have to complete the Temple of the Eye quest. Which is not too bad and in the quest you actually do a run through of the minigame as well. So you'll get some additional information from that. But to start off getting there the quickest way is going to be to use a fairy ring and go to DIS which we can go ahead and configure to that real quick so you're gonna go to DIS and that'll take you to the wizard's tower if you don't have that you could also use an amulet of glory and teleport to Draenor village and run over that'd be the next quickest way next we're gonna climb down this ladder inside the wizard's tower and this portal right here will take you to the minigame. But before we go to the minigame, let's talk about gear real quick. As far as gear, you're gonna wanna bring all of the pouches you have available. In this instance, I have the small and the giant, the medium and large, and I have them stacked on top of each other in this way, as you'll see during the minigame in a second. You're also gonna need a chisel. I would advise bringing death runes, cosmic runes, and air, or er, astral cosmic and air runes if you have the lunar spellbook to be able to do NPC contact to easily repair your pouches, which I will also show later on in the guide. And you're going to need a pickaxe. I have my infernal pickaxe, your best Varrock armor if you have that, and then weight reducing gear, just any graceful will do fine. So next we're going to step through this portal and this will take you right here. If you forgot something there is a bank right here you can access and then you just step up to this barrier and as soon as the next minigame starts you'll be able to pass through and get inside. Alright I'll cut to it when I'm inside. When you first get into the minigame the first thing you're going to want to do is go over here and grab 10 of these uncharged cells one of these weak cells and then you're gonna run up here to the northeast climb down this rubble and you're gonna mine these rocks just because they mine a little bit faster than those slow ones you get a little more fragments from these so I like getting around 270 to 290 of these shards before I actually start doing the mini game. That way I usually don't have to mine at all throughout the rest of the mini game. So we're gonna go ahead and do that real quick. Okay, there it is, 282. So now what we're gonna do is run over here. We can use our weak cell to repair one of these barriers. We're gonna go ahead and repair, the, repair this one real quick. And then run right down here to the workbench and we're gonna turn our shards into blocks, or essence, actually. We're gonna fill up your inventory, and then we have our pouches set up like this so we can go small, giant, continue making more, and then we're gonna do medium, large. Once our inventory is filled up here, there it is, medium, large. Now we fill up the rest of our inventory, and you want to try to keep your uh, catalytic points and elemental energy points around the same. So we're going to go ahead with water, which would get us some elemental points, since it's one of the five elemental rooms. Do that first. Empty our two bags in order as we fill them. Now we're going to teleport out. We're going to go back to the workbench, do the same thing, fill up our pouches again. Now this time we're going to try to get a catalytic energy if we can, since that way we can keep our points around the same. We want to keep those even if we can, since you need one of each point in order to claim your rewards. So you want to try to keep those as equal as you can. In the image on screen you'll be able to see the possible rewards, on the left being the rewards you can get from the reward guardian, and on the right being the rewards you can purchase from the shop using the abyssal pearls. And you actually talk to this rewards guardian right here too, 
claim those rewards. Okay. So now we're going to run up to the Great Guardian, give him our Elemental Guardian Stones. Now we're looking for... There we go. Chaos, first one that pops up we see. This is going to get us some Catalytic Energy Points. Pouches. And we're out. You can use these charged cells to either make Guardians or repair barriers as well but as you can see we already have 10 out of 10 guardians up here in the top left so we're not going to be able to make any more guardians right now so we're just going to go repair a barrier when we go back up all right we're going to run up here again and there's earth go back to elemental we'll just flip flop here oh well it just ran out we'll repair this barrier with our cell um, you know, we're just going to go for law. We'll go elemental next. You can also deposit some runes mid-game if you want to help save up some space. Sometimes I like doing that. right here at this little altar. That's the deposit pool. It just sends your runes straight to your bank. These are essence on him. We'll go get the water, because we want to get elemental now. And by just flip-flopping like that the best you can, as you can see, in the top left here in a second. Here, I'll just use them right now. Because you'll see, that puts us just about equal on both there. Just about 200. We're only 10 off there, but keeping those even will make it easier on you in the long run. So now we're either elemental or catalytic. And it looks like we're going to do elemental. finish the catalytic and as you can see here from getting 280 essence at the start we get to fill all of our pouches and get just about a perfect inventory here and eh, one off but just about a perfect inventory to be able to do one last inventory so catalytic is preferred I guess mine it is Two hundred and eighty is definitely the best. And as you can see my giant pouch just degraded a little bit. Well that's where these law or that's where these runes I had us bring in our rune pouch are gonna come into handy. We can go to our spell book as long as it's on lunar, go to NPC contact, go to Dark Mage. Can you repair my pouches for me? And there we go. Just like that, our pouches have been repaired. Now we just deposit our runes. Get our stack of uncharged cells back up to 10. Grab one more weak cell and repeat. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And if you did, feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. Right. Peace out, guys. Oh, <laughs>